Hello, sweetheart. Well, aren't you going to be a gentleman and invite me to have a seat? Don't mind if I do. Thank you. You weren't even going to say hello, Marty. And forgive me, I didn't see you, Blair. Oh, you saw me, all right. Trish, excuse me, could I please get... Another, and I will have what I was having over there before, please. Okay. Thank you. What are you doing here, Blair? Well, well if I didn't know better, I would think that you're not happy to see me. I'm not. No, I'm happy to find you meeting up with the likes of Tracy Quartermain of all people. Oh, and I thought you didn't see me. I might have caught a glimpse. Hmm. But you were distracted by your friend. My friend? Yeah, the gorgeous brunette. What, you didn't want to introduce her to ex-wife number three? I would love to meet her. Where'd she disappear to? Well, that woman who was just here? No, back to us we just met. I'm not even sure I remember her name. Lucy Coe. Oh. Yes. Oh. She owns Deception, a cosmetics company just like me. Hmm. Some people might even consider us rivals. But I hear on the street that her company's not doing that well. Man, let me guess. Little bird named Tracy Quartermain told you that. Possibly. All right. Enough is enough. What exactly are you doing here with her tonight, Claire? Marty. You're an intelligent man. I'm sure you can figure it out. You gave Tracy the rights and copyright on your attempts to develop a beauty wand, didn't you? Nope, I gave Tracy absolutely nothing. But, however, she did pay a very handsome sum for uh, those yeah. rights. You're a lawyer, Marty. You know by only owning those rights, Tracy could file a suit against Lucy in deception. The fact that you would do something like that with someone like that to hurt someone like Lucy Coe? Shame on you, Blair. That is just vile. No. What is vile is you whispering my original idea into your girlfriend's ear and making her think that it was her idea just to get her in your bed. That is not how it happened. Oh, right. Anyway, Lucy's product actually works. Yours never did. She never would have got it off the ground if it hadn't been an idea that you stole from me. Well, you know what, buddy? It is going to cost you big time. What do you mean it's going to cost me? Lucy's the one being sued by Tracy Quartermain. Yeah, and I'm the one paying you $50,000 a month in alimony. Well, if you didn't want to pay, maybe you shouldn't have spent so much time jumping in and out of the sack with David <sighs> Vickers. Wasn't exactly discreet. As I recall, you were caught in flagrante. Mm -hmm. Because you hired that stupid detective. Oh, he had nothing to do with the money. No, no, that was all that sweet Southern judge decided 50,000 was adequate and reasonable compensation for my pain and suffering. Oh, and you're just suffering so much no, with no, Lucy no, Cole. No, no. She's definitely what I call a step up. Well, Tracy says that you're really hooked on her. So when Lucy loses deception, and she will, You'll have no choice but to make her wife number four. Marry her. And you know when that happens? I won't have to pay you another single dime.